What am I doing? Hi, it's Tuesday. You watch your Tasty Tuesday show. It's Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Happy Cinco de Mayo! Woo, 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 woo! Cinco de Mayo, a time to celebrate at a bar, perhaps, maybe with friends, festivities. I'm talking margaritas. I'm talking shots of tequila, pinatas. I don't know how you celebrate. But 2020. 2020 was like, no. I got an idea for how to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Alone in your kitchen. Let's do it. Huh? And everybody's like, well, I guess we don't have a choice. So today I thought I'd do some Mexican inspired cuisine, specifically elote inspired. Shout out to Tiff. Whoop, whoop. Street corn. I've been craving it since Tiff talked about it on Big Mood. That's a podcast that I do. You should check it out. Also, last week I did a collab with Hot for Food. You can go check that out. Lauren helped me do a an Asian inspired bowl. And I feel like I could combine that technique with Mexican flavors and maybe have ourselves a, a good time a good Cinco de Mayo time also I think I have something else that might help us have a good a good Cinco de Mayo time but I haven't tested it yet we're gonna test it out don't worry don't have a recipe for this I found some jackfruit in my in my cabinet and I feel like I could put together something which is weird because I never feel like I could put together something but I feel I feel some confidence today Perhaps from some sources. Let's make this dish. Step one, I've had this marinating for about four hours now. It really only needs two hours on the counter or you can marinate it overnight. We've made this sort of jackfruit recipe before in some pulled pork mango tacos or pulled carnita tacos or something like that. I can't remember, but it was years ago and it was delicious and I have not forgotten. I didn't show you what I put in it, but it was jackfruit, one tablespoon of coconut oil, one tablespoon of tamari or soy sauce, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of chili powder, and two tablespoons of maple syrup. That is what is in here. It looks and smells delicious. I'm very excited for you to be part of me. Excuse us, we're having a moment. Step two, we're gonna make some rice. I don't know, it just sounds appropriate. I want a specific type of rice. You know what? I can't find the type of rice I want and that disappoints me, but I found this in the fridge. If you have rice that you need to make, make the rice. But if you have some pre-made rice in the fridge, I have this brown rice quinoa blend. I'm just gonna use that, okay? I don't have time to mess around. I got some other work to do. Pour into a skillet and add some water and some olive oil. Coil. Water. Just a little bit. All right, our rice is like done. It was done in like 90 seconds. Probably should have done this part last now that I think about it. I thought I was gonna make it from scratch. No, nope. so we're probably gonna have to reheat that <laughs> later. Listen, we are fine. Don't even worry about it. But next, we're gonna take a skillet of some sort. We're gonna put some oil in there. I have olive oil, but there's probably better oils with higher smoke points. Fancy words that you can use, but I don't have it, so doing this. Gonna heat that up. Medium heat, sure. I got some bell peppers and onions that I was gonna use for a different recipe, but it seems fitting in this one. Ooh, I'm just gonna chop them up a little bit more though, cause like babies, you're too big. You're like that big baby on Twitter that everyone's making fun of, which I feel bad for, cause it's like a baby, come on. Everyone you need to stop making fun of babies. But also that baby's a big baby. I think that's pretty good. If I still wanna use these in a different recipe, I can. I love that sound. Ooh, you sound so cool. You sound like I know what I'm doing. Okay, once our onions are clear and fragrant and beautiful and our bell peppers are like taking them on a date, I don't know, they're there. We're gonna add some better than bouillon. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of better than bouillon. Make sure it gets super well coated because we like, we like that flavor. It is smelling like a fiesta in here. Solo fiesta, it's the best uh, Put you to the test uh, when you can't be with the rest uh. Buy my album, it drops in December. Is it a good time to invest? Uh? Maybe, I mean, on average, a bear market only lasts less than two years, 14 months, the longest, and you know, a bull market last. Buy my album! All right, I think that's enough mixing with the, the butter than bouillon. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. This reminds me of working at Chili's, actually. Like the splattering of the fajitas getting on me and then just smelling like that forever. Chili heads unite. So now I think I'm gonna break out that jackfruit. Yes, jackfruit. Got your back fruit. Mix it well. We're just gonna let that simmer for 10 minutes. See you in 10 minutes. Oh, 
We don't have sweet and sour. Oh no. I'm gonna try lemonade. Oh, bad sign. Doing it anyway. Ooh, you know what? Actually, not bad. So good. If you don't have sweet and sour, but you have everything else to make a margarita, you're fine, dude. I almost like this better. Wow. I'm impressed. So versatile. You're beautiful. Oh, has it been 10 minutes? No. Almost done. Has it been 10 minutes yet? It has been about 10 minutes. And at this point, we are gonna take a lid and we are gonna put it uh, atop the atop the top of the jackfruit because we want to avoid it from drying out okay hello it's been another 10 minutes and now what we are going to do is remove this lid oh wow you are noisy take another sip of your fiesta then we're gonna take a masher or you could use a fork and we're gonna just break apart these huge jackfruit pieces so it's more of a you know, shredded consistency. What I like to call a summer shred. <laughs> get swole. Wait, get sh shred first and then you get swole. Get swole and then you shred. Mm, I don't know. Would you like some Oreos? Okay, now if you've noticed, this has the best freaking shredded consistency now. It looks like carnitas. But it's not carnitas, it's friggin' jackfruit. Oh yeah, we're also gonna lower the heat a little bit more, a little bit, like a little bit more. Cause we do not want this to get all dried out, you know? Stay young, stay hip, stay sexy, jackfruit. So we're gonna like let that, did I say 15 to 20 more minutes? Did I say that? Cause that's what I was thinking in my head and I, why didn't you know what I was thinking? Okay. Okay then. 15, 20 minutes. While that is happening, let me introduce you to the stars of our show today. Oh. Boo, 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 dude, she's so beautiful. Super sweet corn from Kroger. This was opened last week. I hope it was still good in the freezer. It had no seal on it, but we'll find out. Star number two. Oh, oh there she goes. Vegan is better than mayo. Mm, that's what it claims. What else we got? Here he comes, Mr. Tahin. He's here for the day, but he can stay if you maybe need a roommate. And last but not leastly, this was an understudy to a, a different star that got sick, but I had no cotija cheese? Co cotija cheese? I don't know how to say it. Um, but I did have these mozzarella shreds and it's a completely different kind of cheese, but here he is. Buy my album, it drops in December, I said. There you are, where have you been? So I think what we're gonna do for this bowl is I'm going to run this under some warm water, just like traditional, it's very cultural, very traditional. It's not at all. And then I think I'm gonna make a sauce that combines the mayonnaise, the cheese, and the tahini into like a sort of aioli that we can drizzle on top of our bowl. How about that? How about them apples? So we got our corn all nice and dethawed. Now we're for the mayonnaise. We are going to put, I don't know, like a half a cup? Yeah. Cause really like elote is like smothered in mayo. We did that. That was us, we did that. And then I'm gonna do half a lime's worth of lime juice, because we want this to be kind of more saucy than mayonnaise-y, so that we can drizzle. That might be too much lime, oops. <laughs> Maybe some... What am I doing? Oh, maybe some onion powder? I don't, I don't know. Some onion powder, yeah. Okay, so now I'm just gonna whisk this. Yeah, 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 boy. And if we wanna add some more tahini or anything later, we can do that because we are in charge of our own destinies here. Ooh, that's good. All right, all right, all right. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I feel like I could use some like chipotle or some sort of, maybe this chili powder came. Just a little bit though. Did I ruin it? Mmm, that's good too. Ooh, she's cooking. Chipotle chili pepper. I don't want to ruin this, but I feel like this is a fun experiment. Ooh, that looks like 
a latte. <laughs> this is fun. I always think like, oh, it's gonna be stressful. Then once we start cooking, it gets fun. Ooh, that's good. Follow my recipe, man. We did half a cup of mayonnaise, maybe a little bit more. Then we did half a lime. Then we did some tahini, like a teaspoon, and then like some chili powder, just like sprinkled it, and then like onion powder and chipotle chili pepper. I don't know what made it taste so good, so just do all of that. Oh my gosh, I forgot about you, I'm so sorry. I think you're done. You're done, yeah, I'm gonna call it. You are el finito. Bye. The last thing I wanna do, because I cannot put a bowl together without an avocado, okay? I can't do it. Maybe you're strong enough to do that, but not here in this household, okay? And I've struggled with wondering if we should just slice this baby or if we should make guacamole. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we should, we should slice it just so it doesn't take away from the flavor of the elote. But if you wanna do guacamole, that's all on you. I think I'm ready to assemble the bowl. Ugh. Yes, this took like an hour, but we had fun. Me and Mr. Jose Cuervo are having fun. P.S. by the way, cheap tequila when you're making a margarita. Expensive tequila if you're just taking shots. Got it? That's the rules. We are gonna do that rice as a base that we cooked a millennial ago. We didn't actually really cook it, we just heated it up. It is still pretty warm, it's okay. It's warm enough, it's not like, steaming hot, but that's okay. We just want a little bit. It's not even the main grain. Our main grain is corn, hello. Hola. So we got that, and then we're gonna do our jackfruit carnitas. I'm just putting it off to the side here, and then get my baby corn, my sweet, sweet, sweet baby corn. It's beautiful. You're so beautiful. Okay, that's our lote side. We're gonna have some avocado. Don't you even fucking sweat that. By the way, I'm growing avocado trees now. Where that's what's happening in this house. This avocado maybe got a little overripe, but I think you're still okay. I think you're still fine for us. And then, we're gonna put the little mozzarella shreds in place of the cotija cheese. I'm just gonna sprinkle that all, all over the corn, especially. And then I wanna drizzle. I don't have a little drizzler thing, which always bums me out. So I think what I'm gonna do is put it in this Ziploc bag, and then I'm gonna cut a hole in the corner, like, you know, we've all been there. When you're having a lonely fiesta, <laughs> You can do whatever you want. Ooh, oh, we're drizzling. <laughs> it's drizzles. Wow, okay, stop, stop. This is amazing looking. I think I'm gonna just like add some aesthetics to it. Oh, no, 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 don't, no, not okay. This is how I broke my camera last week. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Oh, oh my God, let me just pose for the camera here. Oh. Hold on. You need to chill on this brightness factor. What is your problem? Let the people see the picture of beauty. Look at this. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Oh my God, I'm so excited to eat this. I'm so excited. Cheers. Let's see if it's tasty. Oh, Dios mio. That looks amazing, bitch. You're not a bitch, I'm so sorry. I was about to set this up in the dining room and then I forgot that our dining room is absolutely insane. We have so many packages out there. A lot of packages. But this is an elote inspired bowl really for nice. Cinco de Mayo, which I know is one of your what favorite holidays. It is actually. Normally we would try to go out to like a bar somewhere, but <laughs> Corona was like, hold my margarita. Enough said there. Wow, it smells so good. It's so good smelling in here. I have not tasted any of this yet. Just make it to smell your house up, even if it doesn't taste good. <laughs> right. mm. Nice. Mm. That's so good. That's really did good. Did you get a big bite of the jackfruit? Yeah, I did. Oh. That's really good. A, a jackfruit with the corn and the sauce. Oh my God. I think this is one of my favorite dishes we've made on this Jackfruit show. is legit. People who ate on that jackfruit are nuts. Mm. Oh yeah, that shit's good. <laughs> That's fucking good. I'm in on this shit. Wow. Make this one. This guys. is so good. Yeah. I can't even. My mind is is just it exploded. It exploded. It's I'm gone. I'm liking the bowl. It's man. gone. They're simple. I like the lime and the tahini yeah. flavor. Yeah. Wow. Everybody says, "Oh, Steve Green, you wreck your taste buds because of hot sauce." Mm. No, dude. If everything tastes like this shit. I wouldn't eat hot sauce. Dude, the tahini killed it in this. It's yeah. so good. It's tasty. It's so tasty. I think this is legit my favorite I'm thing we've made on Tasty Tuesday. I'm with you. You did this? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, like it was inspired by elote, but then I was like, what could we put that with? Because Dude. I remembered that we had the sweet corn in our freezer from last week. There's no recipe? No, this was um, the jackfruit recipe that Whoa. I used um, years ago. For, it was for like a carnitos mango tacos type of thing. You did this. I Good mean, job. you know? 
I just borrowed from good job. people's brains that came up with better ideas and then I combined them. I think I'm a good curator. You stood on the shoulders of giants. Yes. And you made and a I bowl made this. that is honestly art. It's so good. It's art. Wow. You finally did it. You won Tasty Tuesday. You beat it. I beat all the you levels. Beat the game. I got a five star Tasty Tuesday you and beat now the game. I what don't do you know now? what to do. I'd like to thank um, my fans. I'd like to thank yeah, it's um, over. my husband. Can we roll credits? <laughs>